MailChimp versus GetResponse. Now this video is going to be a quick comparison. There's not really a need for this video to be super, super long. So I'm just going to keep this as concise and basically as effective as possible. Both of these email marketing softwares are, to be honest, pretty incredible. Now there isn't a crazy, crazy difference between these as I will show you later in the video. So uh, the main difference is going to actually be the pricing. Now, if we just start off, we can see I'm using an example of 2,500 contacts in your list, which is a pretty small list, to be honest. You can actually see that the free plan for MailChimp uh, it has a limit of 500 contacts. So as soon as you have more than 500 contacts, you do actually have to upgrade. Uh, and we have the essential, standard and premium package. And you can see that they get more expensive. Now, if we come over here, you can see that with GetResponse, once again, they have 500 contacts on the free plan. And anything over this, you need to upgrade. And once again, they have three different packages that you can go ahead and buy. Now, you can see right here that for the essentials, which is the cheapest package, uh, GetResponse is actually quite a bit cheaper, coming in at $23 per month. Well, basically $24 compared to... MailChimp's 34. For the standard package, this is actually more around the same price, where GetResponse is actually cheaper again at $57 as opposed to $59 on MailChimp. And then the premium package on MailChimp is a lot more expensive at almost double, well, over double the price. Now, if we just take a look at some of the differences here, so with the cheapest package on GetResponse, you get everything you get here, so Unlimited newsletters, one landing page, a website builder, you can connect your domains and sign up forms and pop-ups. You get autoresponders, unlimited landing pages, unlimited website builder, basic segmentation, email scheduling and integrations and API. Whereas on MailChimp, uh, what do you actually get here? So you actually get your monthly email send capped at 25,000. Maximum contact is going to actually go up to 50,000 right here, which is uh, your, you can use three seats or you can add three users into here. 24 seven email chat support, uh, pre-built email templates, which you actually do also get with GetResponse. We also get uh, reporting and analytics, forms and landing pages, uh, remove MailChimp branding and a bunch of other things down here. So you can see that basically right here, the, the only difference is, or the, the main difference is going to be that GetResponse is a lot cheaper. Now, if I go ahead and sign into both of these accounts, you can see that this is MailChimp right here. Uh, we can simply go ahead and open up a campaign, create an account right here, and it's basically the exact same thing on GetResponse. Now, I've used both of these email softwares in my business, and which one would I personally go for? Honestly, I really think because these are so similar, it comes down to price. And in my opinion, I would go for GetResponse as it works out cheaper. So I would personally go for GetResponse, but it is completely up to you. And both of these email softwares are absolutely incredible. And both of these are going to do a fantastic job for your business. So guys, that is a quick overview of GetResponse versus MailChimp. If you learned something from this video or you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, take it easy.